The best way to record Minecraft is with the Replay Mod, and this video is going to show you exactly how to get the Replay Mod in Minecraft 1.20.4. We're going to go over everything you need to know to get it installed, and first things first, you're going to need to download the Replay Mod. So the second link in the description down below, it will take you here. This is our text guide on getting Replay. If you prefer to go through things in a text format, this is here for you. Otherwise, go ahead and click on the Download Replay Mod button to go to the Replay Mod official download page. On this page, you want to find the 1.20.4 version, right here it is, and come over here and click on download. When you do, it will go ahead and start downloading. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. Now we're also going to need to download the Fabric Mod Loader as well as the Fabric API. Both of these are required in order for the replay mod to work. First, the Fabric Mod Loader, of course, linked in the description down below, will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide, but go ahead and click on the Download Fabric button to go to Fabric's official download page. On this page, you want to click on the Download Universal Jar Link, this little Universal Jar Link. The reason we're doing that is this will ensure that later on, other Minecraft mods you install and things like that will work. Nevertheless, we then want to move on to the Fabric API. This is also linked in the description down below, and you'll want to scroll down and click on the Download Fabric API button to go to the official Fabric API download page on Curse Forge. Once you're here, go ahead and click on Files, and then we want to find the 1.20.4 version of Fabric. Right here it is, 1.20.4. If you're having trouble finding it, you can always sort by game version, and then you want to download the most recent one right here. Click the three dots on the right-hand side and click Download. While we're waiting on this to download, help us from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown at xyz sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, like Fabric mods, such as Replay mod, mod packs, or plugins to your server, and truly customize the server any way that you want. Plus, let's say you install a mod, and it just breaks, and you can't figure out what's going on. There's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, the Fabric API is downloaded. You may need to keep or save that as well, but now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's go ahead and move all of these to our desktop. They're not going to stay here, but it's just easier to deal with them there than in our downloads folder. Once they're on your desktop, we're actually going to be starting off with the Fabric installer. Not to be confused with the Fabric API. This is the one we do not want to start with. We want to start with the Fabric installer file here. Go ahead and right click on this, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Well, don't panic, no worries at all. Let's go ahead and go to the description down below and we have this, which is Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods such as Replay Mod. So download this, once it's installed, you should be able to open up the Fabric installer with Java, but if you can't, you may need to run the jar fix. That's gonna link all the jar files from your computer back to Java, making them work happily together. Nevertheless, at this point, we go ahead and minimize our browser and we wanna open up that Fabric installer. Right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. Now at this point, it's super easy to install Fabric. Just make sure 1.20.4 is selected, make sure Create Profile is checked, and click Install. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.4 before. If that's the case, just go play it. Open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and then once you're done with that, you'll be able to install Fabric without any issues. Go ahead and click OK, close the Fabric Installer, and you can delete the Fabric Installer from your desktop. Let's go ahead and get Replay Mod and the Fabric API installed. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher, but don't play Minecraft yet. Just open the Minecraft Launcher. Then, in the Minecraft Launcher, what we want to do is actually go to our .minecraft folder. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that by going to Installations up here at the top. Once you've done that, you want to make sure that modded is selected, because as you can see, if modded is not selected, fabric's not there. But once we select modded, there it is. Fabric Loader 1.20.4. If for whatever reason you don't have this, just go ahead and click New Installation. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com, because that is the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click the Versions drop-down box, and find Release Fabric Loader 1.20.4. For me, it's right at the top, but you may need to scroll a ways to find it. It's completely normal if you do. Go ahead and change your resolution as well. I'm just doing that, though, so you can see once we get game and now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile to access where we're going to add these mods hover over either the profile you created or the one that was there by default and click the folder icon that will then open up our minecraft folder here and all we've got to do is drag and drop the fabric api and the replay mod into our mods folder but nick i don't have a mods folder well i don't either just right click create a new folder and title it mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and then open it now drag and drop fabric api and replay mod into the mods folder and boom these mods are installed it's that quick simple and easy to get the replay mod up and running 
Now what we want to do is go ahead and launch Minecraft using the Minecraft launcher, but playing with our fabric installation. Either the one that was there by default or the one that you created. Click play and click play again. Now Minecraft's going to open up with the replay mod installed. And at this point, the replay mod can record videos. It can be used as an editor to edit different sort of Minecraft videos and sweeping motions. It's really cool and powerful, but you can't export any videos at this moment. You can only create them, but you can't get them outside of Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in game here and just kind of show you we have this little replay viewer here and click on that any of your replays will be right here but what we want to do is go ahead and go into a multiplayer and then we can record on any multiplayer server out there, including this simple game hosting server. So we can just jump right on into this. This is just a vanilla server, right? Replay mod doesn't have to be on the server to work. So you can record on any server, even like Hypixel and stuff, right? You can record on. And as soon as we go in game, recording is started. It's recording the game right now. I'm just going to run around for one second here. This is all we need. Not a ton of time. And as soon as that's done, we can do two things. We can either disconnect. That'll stop the recording. We can pause the recording here or stop the recording from the pause menu. We're just going to go ahead and disconnect. Connect, and as you can see, it saved that file there. Now, if we go back to the main menu and click on that replay viewer, right there it is, and we can go ahead and load into this, and we'll be able to see that this is sure enough recorded. Now, like I said, you can't export this video. If we were to go ahead and try, it wouldn't work, so let's not even try. Let's go ahead and make it to where we can export a video by exiting the replay here, and then what we want to do is close out of Minecraft. Next, you want to go to the description down below and there's a link to download FFmpeg. The reason that's in the description down below is because that's what you're going to be using in order to actually get the replay mod to export video. So we come here, we can scroll down, and what we want to do is actually click on installing FFmpeg and then come under Windows here. Then we want to find this link. Just go ahead and click on it and as soon as you click on it, it will start downloading FFmpeg. You may need to keep or save this file, but as long as you're downloading it from this site, it's safe to do that. And as you can see, FFmpeg is now downloaded. What do we do with this? Well, we want to move this file first to our desktop. It's going to be in our downloads folder, just like the mods were. And then once it's on our desktop, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher again. And again, we want to navigate back to our Minecraft folder. So let's go ahead and do that from the Minecraft launcher. Come into installations here. Hover over the fabric installation, click on the folder icon, it opens up our .minecraft folder. Then move this ffmpeg file from your desktop into your .minecraft folder. You're not done yet, there's one more thing we need to do. Right click on ffmpeg, and then you want to go ahead and click extract all. Then click extract again on this kind of menu that appears. And now you're done. You can export video with the replay mod. Let's go ahead, open up Minecraft, and I will show you exactly what that looks like, as well as giving you a little overview of the replay mod. But I'll be honest, I'm no expert, and I would definitely recommend checking out in the description down below the wiki or the documentation for the replay mod here. This goes over a lot of different stuff. It's actually like replaying video and making sure that you do camera pass, time control, rendering content, ambient lighting. There's so much that can be done here. This video is not how to use replay mod as much as it is how to get it set up to where you can learn using these guides here exactly how to use it effectively. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and Minecraft is open. Let me restart this to where we can get a better resolution. Hold on. There we go. Things are looking a lot better. We can see up 20 times better. Now, if we go into our replay viewer here, that replay we created is still here. We go ahead and load that up. Then once we're in game, there's a few things we need to know. We can add in keyframes, which is going to basically be where our camera is at at a certain point. And then we can add in timing. I've never been great at this. My stuff ends up being way faster or slower than it should be. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a keyframe here. And then we're going to follow me all the way over towards this area. And we're going to add a, another keyframe here. Now, here's the thing and, and where I always struggle, time, right? Where in this timeline does this go? I think I'm going to add it about here. And then we're going to one more time come over to kind of this way and then add in one more keyframe. And again, I struggle with time. So we'll go ahead and add this at about nine seconds. Now, like I said, time, I don't even know how this works, how time keyframes even work. It's always been very confusing to me. So what I'm going to do is add one time keyframe back here. And then we're going to add another one up there. And we're just going to see what happens and see uh, see how things go. Again, I would expect this to be like way faster than it should be or way slower than it should be. Something will be messed up is what I'm basically saying here. Just expect that. As you can see, uh, we're not even loaded in yet. 
So, um, so yeah, just expect some issues when it comes to some of this stuff for sure, as far as timing goes, because I've never been great at that. So let's go ahead and we'll add one there, and then we will add another, we'll say, I don't know, right about here, sure. And then with that, we now can render this by clicking the render camera path. It's gonna open this up. I would always recommend just leaving this as default, and then go ahead and just output the file right like so by clicking render now it's going to render this out this is all done in minecraft you can show a preview if you would like but i'm not even going to do that i'm just going to let this render out and then i'll show you how to locate this video all right so once your render is done you can actually click open video folder here and that will open the folder and you can see the video right here it's opened on my second monitor one quick second there it is, boom. So this is now full screen, you can see the video, and like I said, it, it, it's it's messed up because, um, well, I'm just not good at this, guys. I'm just not good at this. It's kind of a cool video, and the timing's actually not bad. My character's not too fast, but I, I cut through the building here. I'm just not great at the, the, the replay mod, never have been, but still pretty cool and worth checking out uh, and, and learning more about it for sure. With that being said, how do you find this if you don't have that folder here? Let's say you accidentally click close here. How do you get back to that? Well, same exact process as pretty much everything in this video. You want to open up the Minecraft launcher and then you want to go to that dot Minecraft folder again. So that means from the launcher, go to installations and click that folder icon. So boom, installations, hover over this, click the folder icon. And then in here we have our replay videos and this is the video we just created look at that so you can find all those replay videos there you can upload them from here to youtube you can you know post them on social media whatever you want to do they are there and then you also have your replay recordings here these can't really be edited outside of Minecraft, but if you did want to clear them, because they can be rather large, you could always delete them from here. But keep in mind, they wouldn't show up in Minecraft anymore to be able to edit, and they're gone forever once you do that. So videos are here, and then the raw recordings are here. But nonetheless, if you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy the replay mods, one of the coolest mods out there, especially for content creators, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.